Hello! Welcome back to Pokemon Sword Let's Play episode 15, I think. But just before you watch this video, I would like to let you know that the new Japan vlog is out now on Max MyFo 2! But people said it was a myth. It's real. And it's been released. Close this video and go watch that instead. Thank you. Do not eat the hedgehogs! Do not eat the hedgehogs! I want to eat the hedgehog. It's all gamer girl. Here. I don't like Kirby anymore. Oh, you're done? Okay, sweet. I'm going to face this new gym, which I think is a rock type gym. I'm hoping my Pokemon are healed. I'm about to head in. I need to get dressed real quick. Fantastic. Make sure you receive the trap detector up ahead too. You'll need it for the gym mission. Okay, there's going to be some strange trap mechanisms. Here we go, the boulder badge. I mean the rock badge. A lot of rocks. Oh, it's very sandy out here. That is the trap detector. That looks illegal. Is that okay to give that to a child? The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. I'm gonna sue. I am going to sue the Sershastire City Council. I'm gonna sue the Worcestershire Sauce Company that makes the sauce. Shut up. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer to the ho the closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. What if I want to go straight down the holes? Is there any penalty to falling in a hole? Do I go straight back to the start? Let's check it out. All right, there's a hole right in front of me. Let's see what happens if I fall straight into it. Nothing. Nothing happens. Let's see what happens when we fall in this one. Okay. Awesome penalty! My video game character has broken legs now, but I can just reset. Some of these gym challenges need rethinking. Yep, I can't go that way. And now I know, and it's permanently marked out for me. So I guess I'll turn right instead. Thanks, guys! Now we're gonna battle our first trainer. Hello! You used to walking around to Sir Chester Stadium yet? You are challenged by gym trainer Abigail. Ah, Baldor. Oh, the boys! I love the boys. All right, let's try out first impression. Can these guys kill rock Pokemon at all? All right, we're gonna use no retreat to raise all of the boys' stats. They're getting, look at them, beefing up. All right, I just realized the boys have no standard moves. All their moves involve either attacking first, enduring damage, or waiting until I've endured damage and boosting my stats. It's, it's, we need like a general move. Otherwise I have to just wait around. Like, let's see how strong reversal is. Okay, reversal's, oh, right, it's super effective. Steel beat rock? Is the boys is steel or are they fighting? I, they look like they're made of metal. I can't even remember. They must be metal. I mean, fighting. They're fighting type. That's why they know fighting type moves. All right. Well, I guess I can sweep this whole gym with the boys. See you later, Baldor. See you later, Abigail. All right. Is there any more rocks? I'm going to backtrack and fall in this hole, guys. Oops. Look out. Oh, I get a checkpoint in the middle because this game is for f***ing babies to be fair it is made for children we're gonna okay i'm actually starting to get a little worried that i can't figure out no you don't go that way you gotta go the long way around there we go oh no nope. oh 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 no nope. nelly there there we go guys we made it with little to no holes look out he's bought two Pistols into the arena. I'm gonna shoot the gym leader guys. We're gonna try going forward. Nope. We can't go that way We're gonna use our dousing sticks and take a left. We no, nope, not that way. Can we go? Ah! This game is for kids this way. No, I'm just gonna process of elimination Fall down all the holes and then walk around what's left. Can't go that way this way. Yes Yes This way this way Yes, that's how you do it. Hello. Uh, what's up? Thought. I'm sorry. That's not very nice. She's probably not a thought. She's a rock type trainer. I don't know what's happening. I'm drinking a can of slam from Futurama. Mmm. I can't stop. Uh, yep, that's hilarious, isn't it? Gym trainer, Kiera. She's sending out the big crusty crab. I'm gonna go for a straight up first impression. That's not gonna do too well, but he has been flinched. Stupid crab! This is gonna be, uh, no. What type is the crab? He's just thick as f is what he is. 
He's cutting me in half. The l each trainer I verse, I'm going to be stronger and stronger with reversal as my health goes down slowly and slowly. It'd be really handy to put a focus sash or whatever item lets you hang on by one HP when you take critical damage. But we're just gonna sit here slowly ramming the crab until it dies. Take this, Mr. Krabs. Okay, uh, Kiera, did I make you understand how amazing rock types are? What, by losing? By literally just losing? Yeah, this they're great. Hello, what's your name, pal? Gordy's amazing qualities, number one! He's cool and fashionable. Okay, you're really talking him up for someone who's just wearing gray sweatpants, shorts. Okay, he's got the pre-evolved Coleman, level 39. Has he just kept that from evolving? Oh. Uh. We're just gonna start with that. Two hits of that and it should be done. I'm sorry for burping. I have been drinking too much slam from the TV show Futurama. Level up for Nicholas. Don't actually care. You can't go this way. We've got to go all the way around. All right, no. Oh, for f sake. Round this way. This is just tedious. This isn't really anything else. Okay, there's a hole there. Okay. All right, finally, we got to figure it out. Are we versing the gym leader yet? Maybe one more trainer. I want to heal the boys just a little bit, not too much. Got to keep them strong. They like pain. I'm going to use a burn heal on him. Uh, maybe two potions just over halfway. Going to keep him suffering. Okay. I've ascended into the sandstorm. I've... This is... What the f*** is this? I can't see. Now I just have to guide myself by, bri by vibration. I guess this gym is like blind accessible. You can become a blind Pokemon trainer, I guess. This way? No. This way? No. This way? No. Down here? Can't go there! There's a hole! Nope, there's a hole. Here? No hole! Alright, we're going further. Hello? Is someone speaking to me? Hello? I think this might be the gym leader up here. No, it's probably going to be another trainer. Hello, gym challenger. I know you're there. Do you get some sort of like special health insurance for working in this gym? Because surely you're going to end up with cataracts. Letting all this sand just blow into your eyes for your entire work shift. All right, Sudo Wudo, the funky tree. But he's not actually a tree. He's actually rock type. I'm going to go for a fat reversal. I'm going to cut this fucker down. He's going to... Absolutely just bludgeoned my head with a gigantic wooden mallet. He fell right into my trap, Sudo Wudo. Now my move is stronger! There we go. Executed. All right, I think we're at a good amount of health. Let's see if I can just one shot with that HP or at least do some big damage. We gotta keep on going. There's still holes to avoid, I think. Can we make it? I'm just, okay, there's all! I'm just blindly walking and I'm slowly making it. No! Ah, a resting point. Fantastic. And no more sandstorm. Okay, let's go verse the gym leader. Up the big staircase we go. Out of the pits and up into the arena. Let's get it. All these people are here to see me. I'm the star trainer. I'm the newcomer. I'm the underdog. I'm the up and- Holy hell! That fella is wide! That is a big- Big boy! What's up? What is that? Who is that? That's Gordy? I guess he looks like a boulder? Is that what they're going for? I admit, I feel a little bad for doing this to a gym challenger, but I'm going to use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable. All right, Gordy, I'm going to smash all of your rocks into small little pebbles and then insert them one by one into your urethra. I hope you are looking forward to that punishment. Gordy! I think Gordy's having a stroke. All right, he's sending out Barbarical. Such a creepy looking Pokemon. He's got four Pokemon. I have very low health. I am thinking I should maybe Dynamax, but then I'm going to waste it if I just get killed. Is Barbarical just rock type? I think I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm just gonna do some normal reversals. I'm gonna save the Dynamax. Let's see what kind of damage this can do. Okay, Dynamax would be sweeping hard. If I live this, which I am not, I'm the boys. Are, the boys are gone. Craig, water beats rock, right? I can spray the rock. Take that. He's dead. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Craig is heading into his fifties almost. He's forty-six years old. He's gonna start thinking about retirement. Getting a severage package. Craig wants to learn soak. <laughs> Craig wants to learn soap! That's funny! The user shoots a torrent of water at the target and changes 
the target's type to water. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Thank you, though. All right, he's sending out Shuckle. Shuckle is rock water because he's a turtle, or is he just rock? Okay, he's definitely just rock. All right, I'm just going to Dynamax this lizard. Everyone in here want to see a 60-foot lizard? Check out this! Go! Dynamax lizard! Okay, the lizard is almost standing, like, out the top of the arena. And Shuckle, I don't think Shuckle is going to be breathing after that one. Holy f this lizard is gigantic. Bye bye, Shuckle. Tyrone level 46, he's keeping up. I don't think I've seen, seen Stone Jora, Stone Jora, Stone Jora, Stone Jora, Jorna, Stone Shauna, Shaun of the Dead. I have not seen Shaun of the Dead. I have seen Shaun of the Dead. I can't remember if I've seen this Pokemon in the game, but I have seen it in the card game. I think he's based off like Stonehenge, like a little animated Stonehenge with a little face. I really like him. I think he's quite cute. Uh, his rocks will make a nice makeshift grave for his corpse. All right, my lizard's got about one more move left. You got, okay, he's sending out the fire rock type. He's gonna make it big. It's not gonna do a whole lot. There it is. Man, I thought Colossal was supposed to be big, bro. Have you seen the size of this lizard? Like a giant mountain boulder. Hiya! Gigantamax! That's gonna be a lot of CO2 emissions. Holy hell. All right. Look at that thing. Oh, that's the actual form that he gets. That's like the proper Dynamax form. I don't have the one that would have that form. Wow, that's so cool. He's like a giant furnace with a ton of lava in his stomach or something. I still think I'm going to one-shot him. I'm sorry. It was a critical hit as well. He's bursting like a volcano. Is that all you got? Puff, 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 leveling up. Gary Coleman, level 45. Gary Coleman wants to learn the move Heat Clash. Heat Crash. All right, let's check it out. Heat Crash. The user slams its target with its flame-covered body. The more the user outweighs the target, the greater the move's power. Okay, I think Gary Coleman is pretty heavy. Does that take into account when you Dynamax? Can you just start squashing all the small Pokemon instantly with that? That would be a sweet tactic. All right, I think I'm going to get rid of Will-O-Wisp and learn Heat Crash. Fantastic. All right, has this guy got anything else left? Nope, I defeated Gordy. That was the easiest gym I've come across. Maybe because I actually used a proper type up. All right, I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'd be more like falling from here. Thank you for the 6,720 poker dollars, Gordy. And thank you for this rock. <coughs> All right, Gordy, I don't want this rock. Give me the gym badge. That was impressive. What's going on with his mouth? So many people in this game have big unchecked medical problems. Please crush my hand. Jesus Christ, he has a huge hand. Okay, finally, the rock badge. The gym rock boulder badge, what is it? You can now catch Pokemon up to level 50. Oh, don't worry about me. I just need to train harder, that's all. Yeah, quite embarrassing in your home gym being defeated by a child, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Gordy. As celebration for your victory over Gordy, take this TM. All right, TM48, Rock Tomb. I don't think I'll be using Rock Tomb. I hope Ball Guy goes into cardiac arrest. I'm going to leave now, and if I'm quick enough... Oh, hello, Sonya. I was just heading to the next gym. Can I do you any favors? I got some things I want to talk to you about. Oh, my God! Women be talking. Yes, I, Sonya. I'd love to talk. There's so many things I'd love to talk about, but I'm a little preoccupied with becoming the Pokemon master. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Why are you asking me to dinner, bro? No, I ain't going. Where's the path out of here? She's probably gonna bring Hop as well. Annoying little rat bastard. Ah! This snowman has dropped a poker doll. Oh, all right. Well, clearly, here it is. I'm not going to be let out of this town. I'm a prisoner until I go see Sonya for some steak dinner. Yeah, she brought Hop. Of course. Yeah, what's up, Hop? He's like your little annoying cousin that just gets bought to the family meetups whose legs you wish you could break if you weren't bound by blood. I would like to bound him in blood. His own blood with a gun. Sonya has noticed the tapestry that is hanging up there. What does that mouth do? What that mouth do? Yes, we get it. It's the sword and shield dog dudes. The heroes look sad. And where are the sword and shield? You can get all that from that. MS Paint looking piece of cloth. Well, I, the, the, I can see the sword and shield. They're in the background. In tombstones, I think. I think that the sword and shield dog have been murdered. It's the 
end to the legend. Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? She's just fucking making shit up. Based on those statues we saw back in Stolen Side, the sword and the shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right! That's my take on it, at least! You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been blah 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 <coughs> I blacked out for a second there. What's happening? The gym? What's that? What's that, Sonya? The next gym? Okay, I'm on my way. Nope, I've still, still got to follow them. All right, Hop's running off ahead. Now he's turning around and waving. He's unbelievably annoying. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath though. All right, Sonya, fine. I'll take one for the team. I'll take a bath with you. And now for some reason, Hop wants to battle. Let's do it. Sonya treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle. A beware. Thought that was going somewhere else. I don't want to wrestle Hop. I'll heal up your Pokemon for you. Yes, thank you, Hop. I mean, Sonya or whoever's speaking. Who's speaking? Who am I? Let's do it. A hop battle. He's winding up his throwing arm. I'm challenged by trainer hop. Let's see what, she, what he's got. He's almost got a full team. He's sending out Dabool. I've got da boys. Imagine unironically getting a sheep and dragging it around with you to battle. All right, I'm gonna go for a first impression. Let's see what that does. All right, critical hit, nice. Okay, he's using defense curl, like some kind of fucking level three Geo dude. Sweet. I'm gonna do reversal even though I'm full HP because there's nothing else like- Oh, thank God. I'm gonna take a nice little hit first. Now I'll be able to do a little bit of damage. He took recall because he's using takedown, a move that gives himself damage because he's a retarded sheep. All right, super effective. Hop, shut up. Now that's a proper move. All right. Now we're playing with fire, boys. <laughs> boys level 44. All right, Hop is sending out a bird. Great choice. Ah, oh, he's finally evolved it. Very, very nice. Can I hit the bird? Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Okay, not a whole lot there. <gasps> the bird's scaring, scaring the boys. I don't like that. The bird's getting hit in the fucking head by a hail rock. I am being drilled into and I have just been one-shotted. Who needs the XP? They're all pretty close leveled. I haven't used Coleman in quite some time. I think I'm just gonna go for a Tyrone though. I don't think I, have we used Overdrive yet? I can't remember. It's his new move where he plays his nubs on his stomach. Obviously it's just gonna one shot the bird. Goodbye, my friend. What you got next, Hop? Show us what you got. Where's that rabbit? Let me skin that rabbit you got. Nicholas is trying to learn shit. Cute. All right, he's, he's actually sending out the rabbit. All right, let's see, it's gonna kick up. That's a pretty cool move. I kind of like that signature style. It's not gonna do enough though, to Tyrone. He's a big boy. Now check out this. Now that's what I call damage. And Tyrone loves to suck on that black sludge, kind of counteracting the effects of burn there. I think a quick... Nope, I'm being pyroballed again. Tyrone might be gone. Oh, you had a good effort, Tyrone. Hop has actually been putting in some hours to his team. He's been training. I'm kind of proud of the little fella. I would still love to harvest his organs at the first given chance, but I will say he's put in the work. Let's go for Puff Puff Puff. Get him, girl. You go, girl. Should we try out Draco Meteor? It, no, not just yet. Let me start off with a Dragon Rush. I've not used Dra Draco Meteor yet, but it harshly reduces his special attack stat. Holy f I don't know if I'm getting a chance to use it. Let's hope Dragon Rush kills the rabbit. Okay, good, 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 good. That's gonna be some XP. Oh, don't die by the hail. Don't die by the hail, oh my God. All right, he's gonna send out Snor Snorlax. Hopefully I can get off one quick Draco Meteor if he doesn't go first. Snorlax is super fat, so I think his speed must suck. Here we go, Draco Meteor. Yes, I got to pull it off. I just wanna see what it looks like. Meteors falling from the literal sky. And I think that's decent damage considering Snorlax I'm quite sure has gigantic HP, but he's obviously squashed us into the earth now. I will now send out my next Pokemon. Go, Coleman! Man, Hop is actually giving us a run for our money. He's doing pretty good. I'm gonna go for a flame charge though. 
Which, see, Snorlax is HP. It's it's massive, I'm pretty sure. All right, Crunch. I don't know if you can eat rocks, Snorlax. You're gonna lose your last two remaining teeth. I would start off with uh, trying out Heat Crash, but in this matchup, this is probably the absolute worst time I could try it out. Surely Snorlax weighs a lot more than me, even though I am made of rock. Maybe not, I don't know. Smack down, let's get it. Suck on this rock. He's still trying to eat my coal from the back of my wagon. He's just gonna die from hail. Good one, moron. All right, Hop, it was actually a pretty close one. And now we're gonna see his new Pokemon. I don't think we've seen Pin Pin Urchin. Is that what his name is? I've seen it in the card. Or maybe I have seen it, I don't know. What's his name? Pin, Pin Searchin. Pin Churchin? Pin Searchin. It's quite cute. It actually has like a little cat mouth, I think. He's, look at him, he's a little cutie. All right, I'm gonna go for Tar Shot, which makes him weak to fire. I'm hopefully going to survive this bubble beam, even though I am made of rock and fire. Yep, he's still hanging in there. Good, good. I think I'm a lot heavier than that small little sea urchin. And it is going to be a sucker for a fire type move. This should one shot it. Fantastic. That's a good combo. I like that. Good for crushing small, insignificant Pokemon. <sighs> good work, Hop. Right, now let me take a bath with your sister. Is Sonya his sister? I don't think they're related. He's related to Lee. Who the f is Sonya? Just like a childhood friend or a, just someone who lives in the same town working for Professor Magnolia, I think. Maybe that's his, her granddaughter. I can't remember. I have, no, don't have a great memory. What's next, you two? I plan to look into things, into the slumbering world. I'm going to keep challenging that gym. Then, once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading to Route 9 to take on Spike Muff. Spike Muff. That sounds like a sex position. Why are the names of the towns in this place so strange? You know what I found out recently from my comment section? Apparently BD, I always call him BD, apparently he pronounced his name Bead. Like a bead, I, th I think. Well, at least in Japanese, he, his name is read like that or something like that. They might change it up in English. I don't know, but that's the worst case scenario, right? You don't want a character called Bead. There you go, I guess. I got, every time I read his name now, I, I, I guess I'll just say bead. Leave me alone, so, leave me alone, Sonya. I, I go, 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 go. Me go, me go, go, me go, go, go. I think it's time for a mystery trade. I'm gonna get rid of uh, storage ball and we're gonna wait for that to go through. And I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon, but quickly my wonder trade is already done. There goes storage ball and... Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, Dreepy, okay, okay. Should we put him on our team? Dreepy, that is like, I think that might be my favorite Pokemon design that I've seen in a long time. He has three forms, that one, then the older one, I think the little one sits on his head, I think. And then the third one fires the small babies out of its cannons. Unbelievably cool design. Unless it's super over leveled, I'm obviously not gonna use it. I know you have to go while it's storming to a specific part of the map in order to even find it. I think I might just train it. I think that's the only Pokemon I've got from a mystery trade. If it's around my level, if it's too high, I'll leave it out just for now until I catch up. Level one, level one. All right, I'm gonna put him on our team anyway. He's clearly just been hatched from eggs while someone's trying to hatch a shiny Dreepy. Um, but see you later, level 46, Nicholas the Thievil. And hello, level one, Dreepy, the baby little cutie. Little baby cutie pie. I'm gonna have to give him a name. I'm gonna wait to see what kind of personality he has before I consider a name. He's only level one. He's only got 11 hit points. Let's give him a little bit. Let's see what sort of moves he knows. All right, he has... He actually has some moves. I kind of like that. I feel like he's all my own. Starting straight from scratch. How about we chuck three medium XP candies straight on Dreepy and see what kind of level we can get to by doing that. 9,000 experience. Level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, level 19. Level 19! He's not learning any new moves from that yet, no? Okay, how about an XP candy large times three? Huh? Is this a waste? Do I need to be training him any certain- Oh my god, 30,000! Okay, let's just start off straight with a level 31, Dreepy. There we go. My god, he's not learning anything. Am I f 
picking this up. I hope I'm not turning him to like some sort of crack baby. Is all this experience candy, crack croc candy good for him? Or does he need natural leveling? Also, when does he evolve? Let's chuck in uh, all the XP small candies on Dreepy. Here we go. Uh, that's, that's, that ought to do it. That's not even gonna give him, all right, a couple of levels, level 33 Dreepy. Jesus Christ. Yes, hello, Reese. Hello, it's time for gaming. Are you ready? I am recording. Oh, uh, it's cancer. Die, babes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's heal the boys and the rest of the Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys, I think I'll leave it to the comments section to name my Dreepy. If you see a comment that you think is suggesting a good name for the Dreepy, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to just look at all the top ones that I can see that are visible and I'm gonna pick one that I like. So it's not based on which one gets the most likes, but that does help. Leave your suggestions below. Please keep it somewhat appropriate or something that'll fly under the radar. If you know what I am saying, Susan. Let's bounce, I'm on my bike. I got my Dreepy, I'm dreeping out. Where do we go? Back to Route 9? <gasps> wait, wait, what? Oh, all right, I think this this way must have been blocked before. Not bad, not bad. There's a, a fisher lady. I am just going to put Dreepy out just so I can see what he looks like in battle to give you guys maybe some idea of what we, what we can call him. Hello, please kill my small baby cutie dragon, please. Teach him a life lesson, Fisher Harriet. All right, here goes Barrascooter. Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's go for this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat the fish. I just wanted to see what the little fella looked like. So is he kind of like a ghost dragon? He's like a little noodle. I might not just have to straight up call him Noodle, except when he evolves, obviously, but that's kind of like a cute little nickname. All right. Um, I'm gonna quickly switch out Tyrone, just so Dreepy still gets experience. Go! Tyrone, overdrive, now! Kill the fish, good. Turn it into a Barris shish kebab. Dreepy, level up. Why did Dreepy get so much experience? Oh, wait, because it was someone else's? I, it was traded to me, I think he gets bonus experience, right? I think that's why. Let's see, lantern. Go toxic, poison that fish. Now it's like one of those, um, Japanese puffer fish that you've got to have 40 years experience to chop up or whatever. Don't eat that. Now, go Venoshock. The move which does more damage if the Pokemon is poisoned, I think. Yes, great combo. I'm gonna have to heal up Tyrone. It's probably gonna be more fishermen around here that I need to electrocute. The stronger one always wins, how simple. Sorry, that's just real life, Harriet. Sorry to break it to you. Sorry, I'm just gonna quickly go no, wait, where's the, ah, uh, that. I was gonna go to the Pokemon Center, but it's at the other side of town. Might as well use my potions. I'm not gonna use them any other time. All right, let's do another surprise trade. Let's get rid of Nicholas. Should I get rid of Nicholas? Probably make someone's day if they get Nicholas and they know that it was actually mine. I mean, if they watch the, the videos, of course, which is unlikely, but if you somehow watch this video and get Nicholas, send me proof, that would be hilarious. It would just say trainer ID. Wet bread, right? Goodbye, Nicholas. I'm probably just giving him away with a good item on him or whatever, but who cares? Now, can I do some fishing down here? I can't get in there. I need the upgrade to my bike that allows me to glide on water. All right, let's carry on. There is the big pelicans. Oh my God. We've got the, the big crazy jelly. What's this jellyfish's name again? Jellicent. All right, I'm gonna shave that mustache. Let's check the power of an ultra ball straight up with no damage. One shake, two shake, three shake. Got it. No wasting time anymore, guys. Ultra balls are efficient enough. New Pokemon caught. Tyrone level 47, Puff Puff, Puff level 47. My dreams are coming true. Jellicent, the floating Pokemon. This Pokemon floating. It's named Gel. I'm gonna get this Pokeball, which is a max potion. Have I got a Polipper? I don't know. Let's see what this mystery Pokemon is. Okay. Oh, it's the new bird Pokemon. Disabled bird. So, the, the Yeah, okay. That bird has taken like a lot of damage to the head. Look at that. <laughs> I love how the camera like zooms in on it. Not a lot going on in that, that bird's head. That's a relatable Pokemon. All right, here we go. I kind of want to read the Pokedex entry for this. 
Ultra Ball. Let's see. One shake. Nope. It's broken out. All right. Let's do a little bit of damage to this thing. Come out, bird. Thanks, bird. Oh, it has a fish. It, it's eating a fish. What? Is that a Barracuda? Whatever, Barracuda? Whatever the younger one's name is? I think I remember reading about that, like in the early, early reveal. Or maybe it was a leak, a Pokemon that attacks by swinging another Pokemon or shitting out another Pokemon. Let's just go for a spark. Hopefully it doesn't die if not super, it's dead. It's dead. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, I hit that bird in the stomach and it just launched its dinner before dying. That was a surprise. Oh, look one of the little urchin is. I don't have you to add, Marini. I'm just gonna straight up go for Spark. Hope it doesn't kill ya. They're all, it's, they're all dying, but jokes on them. I'm just farming XP. I'm just chilling. All good, I ain't no stress. I, th I have a feeling I have Polipa. Yeah, I do. I have Polipa. I thought I remember getting Polipa already. All right, let's just go for Overdrive just to make sure it dies. See ya. Tyrone, big. Dreepy's leveled up, level 35. Is Dreepy just gonna evolve soon? <gasps> oh, wait. Is that the other form? Does it matter? Do I need that? I don't think I do. Get Wait, Gastrodon or whatever. No, I don't have Gastrodon or at least not that one. Or, or did I have the younger one? I don't know. I'm going to try throw an Ultra Ball. I wish I had tons of Quick Balls, man. All right. Just kill it, Tyrone. Nope. It, you, it's not affected by electric attacks. Awesome. I'm going to run. Yes, I got away safely. Thank God. Oh, Nicholas is being sent to the KKK. <laughs> Great. Let's see what the KKK. Okay. I, I don't know if I want anyone called the KKK contacting me, letting me know that they have my Pokemon. I'm going to take that back. But we got a Chinese EV. No! I was going to heal my Pokemon. Go away. Dancer Zoe. Oh, we can just see the little ice Daramaka. That's so, so cool. Literally. It's frozen. All right, let's see how much damage Overdrive can do straight up. Okay, Jesus Christ. Tyrone is a powerhouse. All right, she's about to send out Blossom. So I'm going to bring out Gary Coleman. I am going to heat crash. Goodbye, Blossom. And it was a critical hit. Yeah, there's no way that thing was surviving that. Wow, you and your Pokemon make a combo that throws out moves like an elegant dance. Crazy. All right, Tyrone, bit more HP back with some super pots. I'm not in the mood to catch those Pokemon for now. I, I am going to do it though. This is the series. It's going to happen. I'm going to catch every Pokemon. I'm gonna make sure it happens. I'm telling you, count me in. They say it couldn't be done. So many people doubt me. I've seen the comments section. It's like, there is no way Max is gonna catch all the Pokemon. I am gonna complete the Pokedex. It's gonna happen. All right, there's a Dreadnought here. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Muth. And that means we can't let you go to Route 9. Is that thing's name Spike Muth? Spikemuth is the town, right? Because that thing looks like a Spikemuth. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought. And we also get to stop people from heading over the water. I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that the riding bikes can ride on water. Okay, sweet. We're finally getting the water bike. Fantastic. Oh, this is the guy that actually gave us the bike originally. He's still having back problems. All right, we're gonna have to beat these dudes in a Pokemon battle, and then we unlock the special Water Rotom feature. Uh, she's holding up a tapestry of Marnie. It, it, it gets creepier and creepier. The fandom knows no boundary. All right, Linoon. It's sharpening its claws. It's getting some attack and some accuracy. Let's see what Tyrone's Overdrive does to a little ferret. A lot. A whole lot! Level up for Craig, level 48. The Team Yell Grunt. I feel like I should join Team Yell. I'd be a great candidate. I think I yell more than all of them put together. All right, here we go. Pangoro. That's cultural appropriation. I don't know if you guys can own that Pokemon, can you? All right, let's put this panda down. Overdrive! Ooh, he's got a little bit more HP. He's a bigger, bigger boy. All right, here we go. Overdrive! Sorry, I had to do that. He used Taunt on me. I think that makes it so I can... Only use the one move that I just used, right? I think. Anyway, whatever. Do I have to battle another one? Dreepy's leveling up. Ah, oh, he's gonna ride the Dreadnought. What? No. I don't think anyone here is here to do that, are they? Oi, I've got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought first and ride it away. All right, get a move on Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenger. Am I gonna get to see them actually climb onto that thing or they didn't bother animating that because... 
Yeah, I had a feeling that just, yeah, it's gonna happen off screen. They don't have the budget for it, guys, because this game sucks. All right, seems you've come to my aids yet again. Yes, I understand you have aids. Give me the bike. All right, ride and bike. We can activate water mode. Let's try this thing out. So we just, oh, you just ride straight onto the water and you go water mode. Okay, there's that crazy uh, fighting squid. That's pretty sweet. I haven't got or even seen that model in the game yet. First, I'm going to quickly ride back this way so I can try it out on this bit of water here. All right, into the water we go. Can I go under here? No. Let's drive upstream. There's got to be like a nice little secret item up here or something, right? No, nothing. Hello? What? There's got to be something. Wait, no. Here. Yes. Wait, is this a different spot? <gasps> oh, okay. There's a glalie there. Can I get off the bike, please? And grab this avalanche TM64. Is that a special one or something? It's kind of... Okay, I was going to save the game in case it was special. I don't think it is. Oh, yes. No, it is. It's a very strong looking one guarding the TM. It's level 55. I might attempt to fight it for the XP. I don't think I'm going to do too well, but let's see what we can do here. Nope. My character's frozen. Come on, Tyron. Come on. Let's see what our overdrive does. Okay, I might just go through my Pokemon just to see what kind of XP we can pull from this thing. It's healing, though. So am I. Touche. I don't think I can catch it at all. Yeah, I can't do it. It's too strong. Let's see if Toxic even affects this Pokemon. All right, Toxic. At least poison it so the future battlers get a little bit of edge. Nope. Nope. Wait, no, it's not going to cure itself of the ailment, is it? No, it isn't. It's just getting health. Okay, sweet, sweet. All right, go Venoshock. I don't think... I oh, yes. I didn't think I'd get it in, but it's only using double team. It's gaining speed. Hopefully, I can hit it and I don't miss. Don't evade. Here we go. It's trying to evade its taxes, but I've literally just walked up and thrown a vat of acid on its head, melting its skin. I'm doing pretty good. Tyrone's kind of 1v1-ing here. If I can get one more Venoshock in. Yes. Okay. Although two double teams, I might not be able to hit it. Let's see, Venoshock. Yep, Tyrone's gonna get all the XP. There we go, we actually defeated one of the strong Pokemon. That's awesome. All right, yep, pretty good XP. Level 48 for Tyrone. Tyrone wants to learn the move Boom Burst. Man, Tyrone has so many like signature moves. All right, let's check this out. A normal type move. User attacks everything around it with the destructive power of a terrible explosive sound for 140 power? Do I take damage for that? That's interesting. I think I'm gonna just get rid of Spark just for the sake of trying that out. That sounds cool. Also, the boys leveled up to level 45. Good to hear. The boys wanna learn Iron Defense. Yeah, no, no thanks. Woo! It's getting cold out here. Let's get to the next gym. I'm kind of over catching these Pokemon. I think I've already got a Quillfish. I'm just gonna ride on up ahead. First, uh, chuck a couple more potions on Tyrone. Ooh, nice little section over this way. There we go. An item, a zoom lens. An item to be held by a Pokemon if the holder moves after its target moves, its accuracy will be boosted. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go faster on our bike. Too fast, too fast. Uh, Whalmer. Not sure if we have a Whalmer. I feel like even with super effectiveness of the electric type move, it should still have enough HP because it's so fucking thick that it will survive, I hope. No, I'm out of PP for Overdrive. All right, let's try Boom Burst. I just want to see what it does. Wow. What? Wow. How is that a move? What's the downside? What's the downside for a normal type move that has 140 power? I don't drop accuracy, lower no stats. Don't damage myself. What? Okay. I kind of want to catch this squid. I've never seen this thing before. It evolves from a little cute octopus that wears boxing gloves into this kind of like ninja squid. All right, let's do boom burst again. I want to try this out. It's level 50. Oh my god! All right, we've lowered that pretty good. That's higher level than all of my Pokemon, and it's perfect catching range. I should be able to catch it. I'm still going to train uh, Dreepy, though. There's no room on my team for a grappling octopus, but this should be able to get it. I, I hope. Ultra Ball, low HP. Here we go. Three shakes, done. Gah! It was so close! It's wrapping me. It's doing some sort of hentai-type move. Tyrant can no longer escape. Please don't die by hail, octopus. Please! <laughs> Hang in there, sucker! Literally, sucker. Get it? We've got one more shot at this. Ultra Ball, please. Please. No. Alright, it's dead. The hail's killing it. There we go. 
Whoops. Yeah, I'm kind of over trying to catch Pokemon for this episode. Getting a lot of levels up though. All right, continuing on. Down this pathway, you can still get items in the water. A big pearl, nice. I think that's for selling. There is all sorts of Pokemon just going buck wild in the water here. I think we're missing some stuff, but I kind of want to just get the f out of here. I'm being battled by a fisher. I hope you like the sound of Nickelback being played on 2000 decibel. I don't understand that move. That's that's a weird one. Dreepy, level 37. Is Dreepy going to evolve? Dragon type Pokemon. Here's Dragon, right? Dragons have very high evolution levels. All right, what you sending out? Puck a muckle f Oh, that little thing. That's the thing that shits itself if you step on it. Boom burst! It's taunting me. Boom burst! Ugh! It just came. Last second cum shot. Disgusting, Marina. You should be ashamed of yourself. I kind of want to just get out of here and then come back and backtrack. There's all sorts of little Pokemon. There's all sorts of trainers. No! Oh my God, that thing is terrifying. Oh my God, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm on, I'm on the safety of land. The sea is a dangerous place. That is much more scary than the wild area. I'll tell you that. There's so much stuff happening. All right. Oh, there's a little squid with the boxing gloves I was talking about. All right, we finally made it. Have we made it? Nope, there's still so much going on. All right, I'm gonna grab this Pokeball. There's so many trainers. There's so many battles. So much stuff for us to do next time on the Max Mofo Games Pokemon Sword Extravaganza. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna have to call it there. Please go check out the Japan vlog. I'm so sorry I took so long to post it. It is out now. Go watch it a million times and share it with your friends. Look, it's on screen right now. You can, it's clickable. Click it.